Going into second year, there was one thing that all of us were excited about and that was the beginning of our much-awaited clinical posting. As much as I was excited about interacting with patients and getting to see all sorts of procedures, one thing that scared me was that none of my friends were in the same batch as me. This might sound like a small thing, but from what I've seen, your posting group makes a huge difference in deciding the course of the next few years of med school life, both academically as well as mentally. Nevertheless, I decided that I won't let that get to me and make the most out of postings. My first posting was in the surgery department. I was beyond excited because I thought that we'd be going to the OD, witnessing surgeries and whatnot. But to my disappointment, it was just like theory classes. We used to sit in the demo room and kabhi kabar hume ek do history lene bhej rahe the. And with just four days left in the surgery department and the first set of postings quickly approaching their end, the chances of seeing the insides of an OT were slim to none. My batchmates seemed to be okay with this arrangement and did not want more. I, however, did not want to miss out on experiences that most other med students in their second year get to talk about. So, in the last week, I decided I'm not just going to sit in the demo room and wait for the PGs to come, give a 30-minute lecture and leave. I randomly just started going into the wards alone, reading the files of patients, observing nurses and requesting them to teach me whatever they can. I talked to the PGs about how I was really upset over not having seen a single surgery and they suggested me to go and talk to the HOD about this. This college is genuinely seeking to learn a lot of people. आप रिक्वेस्ट करो ज्यादा से ज्यादा वो मना कर देंगे इज वॉट ही सेड एंड आई डिसाइडेड टू गो विद इट वन ऑफ माई बैचमेट्स का शेष वॉन्ट टू जॉइन मी टू एंड सो वी वेंट आउटसाइड सर्स ऑफिस एंड आफ्टर कॉन्टेंप्लेटिंग फॉर अ फ्यू मिनट्स वी डिसाइडेड टू जस्ट गो इन एंड टॉक आर हार्ट आउट एंड गेस वॉट का इज सो एक्चुअली अलाउड अस टू सी अ सर्जरी द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग I went back to my room and started preparing right away. We were going to see a cholecystectomy and so I went on the prep ladder app and tried to understand everything that I possibly could about cholelysiasis and cholecystectomy. The prep ladder app is honestly such a blessing for me. My favorite thing about the app is just how interactive all the videos are. The teachers are excellent and it honestly feels like I'm in a one-on-one -on -one tuition session and it really eases all my worries about, you know, not grasping a particular concept because I know I have prep ladder to go back since surgery is a fourth year subject i'm very happy that i have the elite pack which gives you access to all 19 subjects across the mbbs curriculum i wanted to look pretty the next day so i decided to do a little skin care routine decided to read a little bit more about police sex to me from the book and I slept at 10 so that I'm very well rested for the next morning woke up super excited and decided to wear pink obviously and we were slightly late again just by a few minutes but we got a call from someone telling us that it's better not to come because we're suspending people to come in late so we decided to stay back in the hostel for one period and then in the second period we went to the hospital directly Upon reaching the hospital everything did not go as smoothly as we thought it would because so had told us that we won't need to get our own scrubs and we'll be provided with them at the OD complex itself but when we went there the staff completely denied us of giving any sort of scrubs or slippers and told us to arrange it ourselves which was a huge problem because we can't do that at such short notice I went around in the hospital from department to department and finally this one nurse who was so 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 sweet gave me her scrubs bahut hi zyada mushkil ho raha hai finally miss man scrubs mile hain bheek mang mang ke hame and all of this took up almost 2 hours but then finally we were inside the OD complex and guys it was a dream i Honestly felt like I was living my days in at me life. I mean when you look at our hospital building from outside and when you see the rest of the interiors, you will not be able to imagine that the operation theater is actually so beautiful from inside. At least I couldn't and I was very very pleasantly surprised. 
it was just unreal for me patients being taken in and out doctors scrubbing in scrubbing out operation theater doors opening the sound of the ecg machine it was just so 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 amazing most important thing that i learned from this experience was that god helps those who help themselves i felt lonely most of the times during postings but then one day i just decided that i don't want to think about that anymore i want to focus on learning new skills irrespective of whether i have company or not and by doing that i got blessed with such a huge opportunity it's crazy because the three of us are the only students from a batch of 150 children who actually got to go inside the OD and see a real surgery i'm sure other kids would have wanted to see a surgery as well because who doesn't but they were probably just scared of going and asking the professor about it which if you think about it in the long run is not a good enough excuse to miss out on an experience like this So guys, your takeaway from this video should be ask and you shall receive. <laughs> I am so happy that I mustered up the courage to go and talk to him and experience something that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life.